Okay, so while editing my video, I realized that I forgot to follow up with some key things that I had done. So once again, I forgot to talk. Hello, beautiful people. So right now, I am about to get a deep tissue massage. My facial looks something like this. getting a sports massage today and I don't want you guys to think I've been like doing my videos and stuff like that and I don't want you guys to think that all I do are facials and massages and this year I have made it a point to really take care of myself and I've lived in New York for five years and never been able to really take the time to pay attention to what my body needs and listen to what's going on and this year I'm really trying to make it a point to do so and I'm getting a sports massage tonight today because I've been going through really bad back spasms and I was reading up on what could help my back spasms and the sports massage was one thing that was recommended so I'm trying it out today I like it more than Thai massage which might be hard to beat because I loved the Thai massage so much <laughs> and just kind of help some of the tension again in my hips and in my lower back so I am that's the reason why I'm doing all of these things the sports massage slash deep tissue massage is very different than a Thai massage. Obviously it would be different. I did feel relieved after I left, but I wasn't a huge fan of the masseuse itself. You see, when you're getting a massage, you go in there and you think, okay, I'm gonna unwind, I'm gonna be my own state of mind. This masseuse decided to talk the entire time. And no matter how little I said anything, made no difference. He just kept talking. You know, and then, and then he was like massaging my calves and he was like, oh, so you actually take care of your toes. That's a good thing. Ex excuse me? And he's like, yeah, because you'd be surprised how many people don't take care of their toes. What? I, I, uh, man, don't make a girl feel uncomfortable. And then he had the nerve to be like, oh, if you want to come back again, you know, here's my card. And I was like, <laughs> But other than that, it was a great massage. I would, I would try somewhere else, just based off of my experience with the masseuse itself. I mean, I don't like to talk bad about places and, and, and people and, and make it feel awkward for everyone, but it really made me feel really awkward. To be honest with you, after the massage, I was in such a funk. And that's not what massages are supposed to do. You go to massages to unwind and feel zen and be like, I am one with the universe again. Not the other way around, bro tore me down. It's not cool. It's not cool. On that note, I would say that um, the Thai massage gets my, gets my vote. Simply based on the masseuse. Hello beautiful people. Yay! It's Polaroid day! Or digital. 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 Digital, digital, digital day. Digital day. Yeah. Brian's gonna take my photos. Yay! My boo. Yep. This is the space. <laughs> So while Bryant's getting all set up, <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys about the importance of Polaroids, digitals. Okay, I'm gonna say digitals. I'm gonna just go with digitals. Yes. Even though, because usually you take it with like a Polaroid camera back in the day, so they'd call it Polaroids. Digitals are super important because they can help you get booked for jobs. And a client can see your book and think, wow, she's amazing, but what does she look like with all the makeup on and all of like the amazing outfit that she's wearing? It's actually better sometimes for you to just have no book and have really awesome Polaroids and you can just get booked off of that. So Polaroids, digitals are very important for modeling. And Brian's ready. I'm pretty much. Don't do this. That's Beautiful. not a good digital. Yes. <laughs> I'm 
what not to do. Oh yeah. And so we just wrapped up the first round of shooting. We took care of all of the Polaroids like this. Shaw will probably show you later. She's changing right now into the bikini, which will be the second look for the day. Shh. We will not be including this in the video. <laughs> I think you should. So the first look that I did was super clean, all black outfit. This Polaroids was mostly focused on swimwear, so I'm going to show you some of the um, swimsuit shots that we did. So those are the full body, and now these are portraits. You want to make sure that you have a wide variety when it just comes to facial expression, your hair up, your hair down, different types of outfits. But I actually took four outfits with me because I wasn't sure which one would actually look best. I keep it simple, mostly just wear black. Honestly, it's like the international fashion color to just wear black. Everyone in the business wears black for a reason because it just looks clean, sleek, and put together. And, um, and it's simple. I hope that helped anyone out. So, if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Write some comments down below. You know the spiel. You know what to do. Until next time, guys. See ya.